Welcome to Ev Share. On this episode, I'll show you how to cook a lamb on the spit. Welcome back to Ev Share. We've seasoned the meat overnight, now it's time to set the fire. I've started the coals here. We'll slowly build up the fire and then put on the lamb. We've seasoned the lamb overnight. Now we need to put the lamb on the spit. The fire's going nice and red and hot. Before we put it on the spit, we need to make sure we put some that sea salt onto the body of, of the lamb. For it to make it to stick, we'll just rub some oil over it and then rub the uh, sea salt. Just got some olive oil here. Rub that over the lamb, grab the sea salt, just rub it all over the body. That way, it sticks on there, and as it cooks, it'll make the skin nice and crispy. Just flip it over. Do the same thing. Some olive oil all over it. And we use the salt to just rub it in. Alright, well that's ready now to put onto the spit. Okay, the lamb is now ready to be put on. We'll put it right up the top. We'll put our motor on with the, with the belt. Turn it on. Now we have to cook this for about three hours. So we cook it nice and slow with good heat. And every now and then I'll marinate it. When we get to the marinade, I'll show you what I do with the uh, with the basting. You can see that the fire is predominantly around the back legs and also the front of the legs, because that's where all the meat is. Just a little bit in the middle. You can see that I've made a valley in the middle. All the heat is to the sides of the spit. The reason we do this is because any of the juices and all the fat that drops, it will drop in the middle and it won't cause any flames. So the lamb has now been cooking on the spit for an hour. You can see it's starting to go brown a bit, so we're ready now to start basting it. So we'll baste it every 30 to 45 minutes. So what I uh, make up is I've got some salted butter here, a stick of butter. So I'll use 100 grams of this. Get 100 grams of butter, and I'll use uh, the juice of one full lemon. That's it. Magic. And some uh, rock salt. So the sea salt. So you can see a handful. Put it in there. And we use some pepper as well. So probably about uh, a teaspoon of pepper in there. As you can see, we'll heat that up. Melted. So we've melted the butter, the salt, the pepper, and the lemon, and we're ready to baste it. I've got my basting brush here. We'll just cover all that and just baste it on there. Make sure we get it into all the nooks and crannies of the meat.
that will just infuse into the meat. Give it that beautiful flavour. So we cover the whole thing with our, with our baste. Give it another 30 to 40 minutes. We'll do it all over again. So one hour into the cook and it's looking beautiful. You can smell that, the skin's slowly pulling off. And you see now it's actually cooking into the meat. So every now and then we need to just put a, a thin layer of, um, of charcoal so we can keep the, the, the fire nice and hot. So I've got this uh, bag of charcoal and I'm just putting a very, I'm just putting it on the edge here. So if you're wondering how much charcoal to use, I bought a 10 kilo bag of charcoal and I've used three 4 kilo bags of heat beads. So initially the heat beads are there to start the fire and then the, char the 10 kilo bag of charcoal will do the, for this for the next three hours. And you can smell the wood now and, and that's infusing, all that smoke is infusing into the lamp. It's been four and a half hours since we took, put on the meat. It's come out really nice. You can see it's ready now because it's coming off the bone. It's nice and crispy. See the skin's all nice and crispy. It's perfect. Let's give it a go. Let's see how it tastes like. Look at that. Just pulls off the bone. Soft, moist. Oh, great flavor. Fan. Fantastic. We can't get enough of it. If you like what you see, please push like and please subscribe to Evshed. Thanks for watching Evshed. Catch you later. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, please hit the like button and also subscribe to Evshed.